Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and the transfer window is now over guys and you know what as a Man United fan I rate our transfer window a seven and a half out of ten I'm quite happy with it yes we didn't sign a CDM yes we didn't get rid of Phil Jones Jesse Lingard Pereira only got a low move and we're still with a fair bit of deadwood at the club but I think in terms of Man United it's definitely been one of the better transfer winners we've had but despite the transfer window being closed, there's a lot going on surrounding Manchester United and Manchester United news. Now, this is a new series I want to do on the channel called Alice Reacts, where I react to a couple of things and a couple of topics coming up on Man United Twitter. So if this video does well, and if it gets lots of likes, lots of views, lots of shares, lots of comments, I will make this probably a weekly thing on the channel called Alice Reacts. But in today's video, what am I be going? What am I going to react to as the camera goes out of focus? Well, we're going to be reacting to talk shit. I'm sorry, talk sport. My mistake. And so comments made by someone called Trevor Sinclair, and the only thing I can really associate with that name is lack of footballing opinion agendas. He goes in the grey of Zunas box. Some comments he's made about Ronaldo. I'm going to be giving my thoughts on that. Yevez Basuma up talking about Ronaldo on Instagram and posting for him. Could United get up a Basuma move? Man United in for Haaland next season. And of course, Manchester United lose a friendly 4-3 to Stoke. You know, Phil Jones starts. We can see four goals. That's all I can say. So hit that like button, subscribe button below and let's get into the video. Talk shit. Sorry, done it again. Talk sport. Have this thing against Manchester United you know I feel like they deliberately get people with awful footballing opinions on just to get media views media attention media clicks and I am giving attention right now so it is kind of working but you know they were saying the other week Varane won't be able to do it in the Premier League well he's had one game against Wolves very very tough game deal with it fine they are saying all this and all this and Trevor Sinclair of TalkSport says this about Ronaldo when Ronaldo is joining Manchester City and we all think Ronaldo is joining Manchester City he goes Ronaldo is exactly what Man City have been looking for this could be the long way in getting City over the line to win a Champions League of all the nines available though it'll cost a few quid he's worth taking Trevor Sinclair loves the idea of Ronaldo joining Manchester United he basically was saying, um, not Manchester United, Manchester City. Trevor Sinclair likes the idea of Ronaldo joining Manchester City. So when Ronaldo was linked to Manchester City, Mr. Trevor Sinclair's going, perfect player for them, perfect number nine, going to be exactly what they need to win the Premier Leagues, win the Champions Leagues, and all of that. But as soon as Ronaldo joins Man United, his, his attitude changes. His attitude changes. Maybe he's got a Man United agenda. You've exposed yourself. This is what he said about Ronaldo coming to Manchester United. The intensity is unbelievable in the Premier League and it will retire Ronaldo's legs. Ronaldo will not be able to play every game and will not be a top draw player every game in the Premier League, says Trevor. He says Ronaldo should not be guaranteed or expected to start every Manchester United game this season. While Ronaldo only missed four games for Juventus last season and that's because he has COVID. And I get the Premier League is a harder league, but when, Man when Ronaldo is joining Manchester City, he's the perfect signing. He's the final piece to the puzzle. He's brilliant. He's going to win them the Champions League, win the Premier League. But when Ronaldo joins Manchester United, you know what? I don't think he's good enough for the Premier League. I don't, I think he's going to tie. I think his legs are going to hurt. So Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the most fit, in shape footballers at 36, who looks like a 28 year old, Will not be able to do it in the Premier League. It's too tough. It's too trying for him. But if you went to Manchester City, he'd win them a Champions League. Great. Makes sense. You've really exposed yourself here. And all I'm going to say is, OK, Ronaldo at Man United might not get no service and might not score goals. But Ronaldo is one of the most well-motivated players. He did, you know, he's made nearly, he had nearly 40 goal contributions contributions at Juventus last season he's still a very very good player I do worry about him not getting service at Manchester United but the fact that you say Ronaldo's not expected to start at Manchester United we brought Ronaldo to start Ronaldo's better than Cavani Ronaldo's consistently got great goal scoring records over 20 goals last season over 20 goals the season before I can't remember the last time Ronaldo went a season without scoring 20 plus goals he must have been a Man United player when he last did that Ronaldo's got one of the best injury records in football. We've got the best goal scoring record in football. Yes, he is 36. I get that. He's 36. Cool. But to say that he's not going to start, maybe that we might have to rest him. Maybe he can't play week in, week out. Cavani can't play week in, week out. Maybe that's what you mean. But he's going to come in, he's going to start, and he's going to start the majority of games. Because at the end of the day, he is better than Martial, he's better than Greenwood, he's better than Cavani. It's, it's Ronaldo. At first you say Varane can't do it in the Premier League, and now you say Ronaldo can't do it in the Premier League. Ronaldo tore up the Premier League when he's younger. Yes, he's a bit older. Yes, he might not get the service. But you're a United agenda. You're just, you're just a clown, mate. You're just... 
honestly, the next topic I want to talk about, though, is the Manchester United 4-3 Stoke friendly. Manchester United lost to Stoke 4-3 in a pre-season friendly two-day, guys. And, well, you know, the starting eleven has Phil Jones in it, so he did concede four goals. He and Jones, Mengi, Delo, Fernandez is in the left-back, Alvaro Fernandez, who we got him from Real Madrid, Matic, Van der Beek, Cavani, Hannibal, Mata and Greenwood played for Manchester United. We saw a little bit of Matic and Donny in the pivot, but we lost 4-3, so that's great. Ollie's not going to play Donny because he lost 4-3 in a preseason friendly, even though it would probably be Phil Jones' fault. But Greenwood and Ted and Mengi got the goals in that game. Manchester United lose 4-3 in a preseason friendly, but as you've seen by the lineup, Phil Jones was playing, Fernandez is in like the left back, Fernandez was playing, Mata was playing, Hannibal was playing. Wasn't our strongest lineup, wasn't our weakest lineup, but we didn't win our preseason friendly today. And look, people people will be like, Are you mad? No, it's a preseason friendly. None of our best players are playing. It doesn't matter. It's not it's not it's not a game that's worth anything. So you know what? Minutes for players like Van der Beek. Cool. Cool. But according to Mark Ogden, CDM, not our priority next summer. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Erling Haaland remains Manchester United's priority transfer target next summer, despite the club as financial aid to re-sign Cristiano Ronaldo from Juventus. Haaland is still the priority. I'm not surprised Cavani will go, Martial will probably go. Apparently Declan Rice is the priority, but he doesn't really want us. But you know what? All I'm saying is get a CDM in January, get a CDM next summer, and you can buy who the fuck you want once we bring a CDM in. Alright, so that was the end of today's video, a video I'm calling Alice Reacts. Hopefully this video does well. If you like this video and want to see more sort of weekly reactions to things going around on Manchester United Twitter, snap, smash that like button, subscribe down below, share this video. I always talk about transfer news, talk about games, and I'll talk about some a little bit of Manchester United news, reacting to things. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video. There should be a couple more videos coming out this week, possibly a transfer window review. Uh, if you want to see that, maybe could Man United win the league debate and possibly um, a Manchester United Newcastle predicted lineup? Who, how will we line up with Ronaldo video? There will be some live streams come next week, but I'm taking a couple of days break from live streams. Unless any breaking news happens, I won't be live. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that like button, subscribe down below, share this video. See you next time. Bish bash bosh. Bye.